Look at you. Ooh. All right, guys, so we're going to go into our friend's house real quick and go see some snakes. Check these guys out. <laughs> Suckers! No. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Clutch. My name's John. I'm here with Sydney of MSB Reptiles. Woo! Where'd you come up with the name? They're my initials, so it's not that I know, exciting. I just yeah, to just... yeah, not that exciting. She has dove into a project pretty much completely to the point where it kind of is in her entire collection. Absolutely. So I'm gonna let her talk about that project and we're gonna spotlight some of the animals that she thinks show the highest quality in this gene. So check it out. Why is Monarch your favorite gene? And what do you look for when you're looking at them? I first got into Monarch when I was on Rance's Morph Market page and I saw this gorgeous orange, yellow, and purple snake and it was mostly just the color changer. There's not much of a pattern change, but that purple that comes in between and gets darker and darker is just everything that I've wanted in a ball python. The price tag didn't agree with me, but it was something that I just had to have. Ended up becoming good friends with Rants, and it just grew from there. I ended up buying out his entire collection and it just kept going so now this is one of my single gene babies her name is peaches yes I name all of my snakes she is just the perfect example of that dark purple behind and then that perfect gold yellow some people will call it orange in the aliens If you had one gene you could put this to right now, without question, what would it be? The one thing that I've wanted to put to Monarch is anything dark. So I started my experimenting with Blackhead. That was something that a lot of people had talked about. It got my attention. I really want to see more dark to bring out the purple in Monarch. That's my favorite part of it for sure. So is there anything else you work with besides Monarch? I work a lot with Pied, of course. This last season, I put my uh, single gene normal Pied female to my pastel monarch male and ended up with double heads. So this is a pastel 100% double head Pied monarch. And I had a very weird thing happen when I had the clutch hatch. She popped out. So we're gonna test to see if the pastel monarch male has pied. Obviously this isn't a monarch pied, but pied, don't know what happened. So we'll see. So besides your monarchs, mm -hmm. You, you have a really nice ball python collection, but you don't just work with ball pythons. And I think no. that's the important thing is Absolutely. you've really expanded on to just a lot of different species. Mm -hmm. So do you want to kind of talk about some of those or say what you're working with? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice dance. 
Everybody started out with something. I started with a king snake, my OG California striped king snake. He's now 17 years old. It's kind of a cool one. One of my favorites that I now have is a western crown snake. I don't know, I have all kinds of king snakes, corn snakes, long nose snakes. Uh, beauty rat snakes. Boas, all kinds of things. I don't think he likes the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't let him do anything. You want to go get your mommy? Daddy! So she has a little bit of it all. Um, how long have you been working with snakes? For 17 years, just as a hobby. For breeding, it's only been about three years so far. Uh, I couldn't even tell you how many clutches. I've had maybe around 20 this season, a couple last season. It hasn't been a ton, but I'm getting... 20's a pretty good number yeah, for I someone mean, that's only you three look years at everybody in. Else. Yeah, that's well, fair. I'm saying you're three years yeah. in. I mean, it's not like... I'm wanting to get up a lot higher than that, make this something a lot bigger than what it is like a lot of people, um, but this is definitely something that I love to do full-time. Uh, I was going to school for a long time, now this has become my baby and everything that I want to do. So let us know where we can find you, and everything that she says will be in the description. I'm really bad about that, but all her stuff <laughs> will be in the description. Uh, I mean, MSV Reptiles on Instagram, Facebook, I'm on Morph Market. Uh, I will have a YouTube. Everybody's been asking you to do videos. I suck We're at videos. Force her to do it. If you can't tell, I'm terrible at talking to a camera. Oh, the MSVReptiles.com, of course. Uh, we have Monarch Ball also, so we're trying to get that fixed. It's had kind of a, a upset. I don't know what happened, but um, we're working on getting that fixed. It's all the history on Monarch. Uh, it was created by Rants originally. We bought that off of him as well, so we own monarchball.com, msvreptiles.com, Instagram, Facebook, or Market. Nice. Alright guys, make sure you go check him out. She's going to freaking be killing it, whether it's Monarch or everything else, because she's got a lot of passion, uh, even if it doesn't always show on video. Yeah, God. I'm about to get punched. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay blessed. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay. You know this is gonna come out in bloopers too, right? Like if oh. you keep giggling, I'm gonna have oh, to make Oh, that's yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be most of your videos. Yeah. Awesome. Blooper rolls. Go. No. <laughs> You're gonna have to make me talk here. So do you work with anything? Be <laughs> goddamn this. Stop. Do it again. I tried, no, I tried to come out and he was recording, so I hid. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Clutch. My name's John. I'm here with Sydney of MSB Reptiles. Woo! Where'd you come up? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you see, I, I just, I end up going totally blank. And you laugh at it.